Hey guys, welcome to episode 56 of Norwich City Career Mode. In this episode, we will have three games. Yes, three games. We will have three games. We are incredible. For the first time in absolute ages, I will have three games, not two. And they will be different. A Champions League match, a League match, and an FA Cup match. So the first match is a... Champions League match against Bruges. First v oh, sorry, second v first. Sorry you didn't see the team lineups. For some reason my um capture device didn't record them and you didn't see the start of the match either. But there's quite a lot of chances in this game. Van Wilson go having a header there, which the goalkeeper tipped just wide. And Estina whipping the corner in goes just wide of Bamford, but don't worry because it comes back to Ake who smashes it on his right foot, hits the angle, and Murphy can't get the rebound. But in the 65th minute, just a couple of minutes after De Sutter picks up the ball, gives it to Isaquerdo, chips through to De Sutter, he heads it, and what a goal that would be. And now Bamford picks up the ball, takes it around Engels, chips over towards Housen, who's one on one with the keeper, and Housen does indeed put the ball in the back of the net and in the and in the background you can hear my reaction there oh went absolutely mental when this goal went in to give us the 1-0 lead so if I'm sounding like I'm um, in kind of a good voice today uh, that's because I am you might not believe what I'm about to say but I've recorded over 20 videos <laughs> yes uh, don't worry, I'm not going on a holiday anywhere. Uh, I just have, I've been having an excellent day today. It's Saturday, the 13th of June, and I've recorded over 20 videos. That's all I'm saying. And that was full time, 1-0 against Bruges. And brilliant, because we moved top of the group. We're basically through now. All we've got to do is get uh, maybe a draw against Milan and Atletico Madrid. And we're through to the knockout stages, but more a bit more important because we're coming into the league now to take on Everton at home. Uh, we, we still haven't really got a kickstart in the league, and we kind of need. To. So coming into this game, Everton are two places below us. They have been having an even worse start to the season uh, than us. So we knew if we needed to win here, and if we didn't win here, then that would bring bad things for us. Uh, but the first chance would come as the ball is chipped over to Nathan Redmond on the right-hand side, whips in towards Cameron Drome gets Ed Ray, but Joel, the goalkeeper, makes a good save. And in the 46th minute, Marlos comes forward, gives it James McCarthy, slips through towards Lukaku, who shoots, and his shot goes just wide of the post. And in the 77th minute, Marlos whips in again towards Lukaku, head away by by hand, but it comes out to Seamus Coleman, the right back who can hit them, and he hits with the left foot. John Ruddy makes a good save, and Kurt Zuma clears the danger. But unfortunately, that would have been would be full time. Uh, Norwich City nil, Everton nil, and you see the league table in just a second. So this would usually be the end of the episode here. I'd say thanks for watching another episode of Norwich City Career Mode and I'll see you for the next one very soon. I would usually say that, but I'm not going to say that because I will say the third game of the episode will be here once again at Carrow Road. Uh, all three games have been at Carrow Road today, I've just uh, remembered that, uh, to take on Burnley in the FA Cup. And coming into this game, uh, we definitely knew we should be beating them. Uh, I'm not, being a noob, I can't actually remember if they're in the Premier League. You might be thinking now, oh, Louis, come on, you should know your football knowledge. But looking at their team, they probably are. They've got ex-Norwich uh, man, Andrew Sermon. They've got Yannick Bolassi. And they've got Victor Vazquez on the bench. Um, Ofoe's old friend. But talking of Ofoe, he wins us a penalty here as he is bundled down on the floor. And I do agree with the referee uh, that this was the right decision to give a penalty. And it would be Ricky Van Wolfsburg to step up against Cisak. Steps up, but Cisak makes a good save. But there is going to be a rebound as Van Wolfsburg heads it. And Cisak makes another incredible save. So one of Van Wolfsburg's best assets of his game is his penalty taking. And when it was saved here, I knew he'd be in for a rough ride because if the Cisak can save a penalty against Van Wolfsburg, then he can save shots against Bamford and Van Wolfswingle as well but in the 34th minute Burnley would get their first chance as Bolassi slips through towards Lucas Jukiewicz who unfortunately does give them the lead and when this goal went in I was very very unhappy because we had been dominated throughout the whole we have been dominating not 
had been dominated on. We had been dominating for the whole of this game, and uh, when this went in, I was very surprised and angry because we definitely deserved to be winning. And there was just to show that there'd be another chance straight after as Van Wolfenkel should have gone down there, but he picks up the ball, shoots on his left, and it goes just wide. I actually started to celebrate when this went in because I thought it was uh, when this went wide because I thought it was in myself. But Josh Murphy comes through here, slips inside towards house, and he gives it to Bamford. He turns it in the back of the net. One one, maybe not because the assistant linesman oh sorry the linesman point, puts his flag up and denies us the goal another chance for Josh Murphy the youngster part of the Murphy twins but Jacob Murphy got sold cuts inside here ahead of his man shoots on his left and this had so much bend on it and when that went wide I just said to myself yep that's it we're not scoring but Estina would whip in the ball from the resulting corner Origi gets it down towards Miguel who is clearly pulled back and the referee does indeed point to the spot. I, that was definitely the correct decision because um, when Ignacy Miguel was pulled down I just knew the referee had to give it and it would be Gary Hooper to step up against CSAC. Can he score? Definitely. Yes, he can. Gives us the equaliser. One, and we are right back in the game. So this, when this goal went in, I was given a boost of confidence because I knew uh, we wouldn't be getting knocked out of the FA Cup unless it went to extra time, which it would do. As the final score is 1-1 here. Didn't have any chances in the last uh, few minutes. We see QPR go through also as they beat Hull 3-1 at the KC Stadium. There would be one more chance though before it went to penalties as Lukas Jukiewicz actually turned the ball into the back of the net. But this would be the fourth goal of today but the second disallowed. And no other chances until full uh, full time where we did have way more shots than Burnley and way more shots on target. And it would be a penalty shootout. Gary Hooper would take the first penalty for us as he steps up, stutters and does indeed score for Norwich City. So it gives us the 1-0 lead. But Victor Vazquez would be given the opportunity to put Burnley back on terms. He steps up and puts it down the middle. Good penalty um, by him. So Ofoe now, uh, his first ever penalty for the club as he steps up with his right foot, puts in the back of the net. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way for the second time. But Lukas Djokovic, would he be able to give Burnley the equaliser for the second time? Yes, he would. Really confident penalty. Smashes it down the middle again. Their third penalty, which has gone down the middle. Now, Johnny Housen relied on him to get us the third goal. He steps up, stutters, and does indeed score. Brilliant penalty. Sent the goalkeeper the right wrong way three out of three times now Ashley Barnes for Burnley would he go down the middle that's the question yes he would and he would indeed score I actually pressed up but for some reason John Reddy decided to fall over but now Cameron Jerome would he go down the middle yes he would and the goalkeeper dives and Cameron Jerome dinks it down the middle gives us the 4-3 lead now Yannick Bolassi could he be the first penalty P first person to miss penalty yes he would be as he sends the goalkeeper the wrong way but puts it just wide of the post bottom left now Marcos Astina could he give us a lead no he couldn't because he hits the bar steps up stutters and unfortunately hit the bar now Scott Arfield he knows he has to score this John Reddy saying he's going right Marco now Arfield steps up and chips it over the bar and Norwich City will be going through to the next round of the FA Cup knockout Burnley here at Carrow Road and in sorry the Capital One Cup I thought this was FA Cup sorry my big mistake I'm saying that for the whole of this uh, episode but we do go through with a comprehensive win against Burnley and we will be playing Burnley in the next episode which might well have three games if you did enjoy this one leave a like and I'll see you for the next episode very